Fans of chicken parm, listen up. How would you like to make your favorite dish without turning on the oven? Not only that, we're also not using a single drop of oil. Folks, I present to you our 10 ingredient chicken parm made in the air fryer. If you don't have one of these babies yet, maybe time to get one. Because with one, if you wanna make chicken parm in the summer, you don't have to suffer quite as much. Air fryers are basically little portable ovens using only electricity and a lot of fan power. The only downside to this recipe is you can't cook that many breasts at one time, so you're gonna have to do it in batches if your air fryer is as small as mine. Worry not though, because once you dredge your chicken, it is basically hands-off cooking, so even if it takes twice as long, it's still twice as easy. First things first, you're gonna grab your chicken breasts. You're going to butterfly them, meaning we're gonna cut them into two thin cutlets. That way, they cook a little bit faster. Once you have four pieces of thin chicken, go ahead and season both sides with salt and pepper, and then prepare your dredging station. In one bowl, you're gonna add your flour with salt and pepper, then you're going to place your eggs in a second bowl and whisk them until they're nice and even and smooth. Third and final bowl, you're gonna go in with your panko breadcrumbs, your parmesan, freshly grated, oregano, garlic powder, and red pepper flakes. I've said it once, I've said it twice, I've said it numerous times before, always preferred to have your own freshly grated cheese because that way you can know there's no additives or cellulose. But if you're short on time, I won't judge you if you use the pre-grated stuff. Probably can't tell the difference anyway, right? Now, working with one piece of chicken at a time, you're gonna coat it in flour, dust off the extra, dip it into the eggs, let the extra drip, and then press into the panko mixture, making sure both sides are very evenly coated. Working in batches and making sure that your chicken is not crowding or laying on top of each other, place your chicken in the basket of your air fryer and cook at 400 degrees for about five minutes per side. Now. We have a big disclaimer here. If your chicken breasts are much bigger than ours or smaller than ours, your cooking time will vary. My chicken breasts today are clocking in at about two thirds of a pound each. So take that into consideration. If you have an instant read thermometer, inside temperature of chicken should always be 165 at the thickest part. Once your chicken is nicely golden and cooked all the way through, go ahead and top it with a little bit of sauce, a little bit of mozzarella, put it back in the air fryer and let it cook for about three minutes until that cheese is nice and melty. If you'd like, sprinkle on a little bit of fresh herbs like parsley, basil, whatever you have, and serve. For those of you wondering, is it even chicken parm if you didn't fry it? Well. We kind of did fry it, air fry it that is. And I'll just let the food speak for itself. The crust is nice and golden, crunchy, adhered fully to the chicken breast, which is pretty tender, pretty moist, and pretty flavorful. Topped with the sauce and the cheese and the parsley, I think this is a legit chicken parm. If it looks like chicken parm and smells like chicken parm and it tastes like chicken parm, well, there's just no arguing with it. If you give this recipe a try, we wanna know exactly what you think. Tell us, is it as tender as I say it is or did I lie? Until next time, enjoy.